Happened again. It happened again. Then I go three times. Now I got this bullet. Fuck, man. I don't have any footage of this, but. I tied my, my shirt around my head. It played like this. I probably need to go to the hospital. Not because it hurts, but it's pretty deep, so I might have to get stitches. How bad does this look, by the way? Oh my god. Pretty oh, bad? Yeah, it's, pretty it's, it makes it look deadly. Yeah, it's deep. Stitches? Yeah, I probably. Did that just happen? Yeah. What? What'd you That's do? why I have my shirt around my head. I didn't even see that. Oh, okay. Did you run uh, into the wall? Or there's an elbow up here. Yeah. Okay. We'll see, see you again. It's not good. It's not good at all. It's like a bunch of bandages. Without getting sweat in this. Do you guys have bandages or anything? Front? Do you guys have bandages? Yes. This. Yeah. Or some sort of uh, elbow. You know, just good old nature fun. We're gonna do more. Probably something to clean it. Yeah. Do you have like some sort of, honestly, maybe if you have like a big giant wrap, like just wrap around my head over some gauze. Yeah, probably a gauze pad. Probably that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I wish you could see this, but you really, you really can't. That's pretty good. That's pretty, that's pretty deep. It does not look good at all. Kobe would have been proud. That's for sure. Doesn't seem to be bleeding, so that's good. I don't need health care or some shit. Yeah, I think I'm good. It doesn't really hurt, and it doesn't seem to be actively bleeding. So that both seems like good signs, but, you know, it does look kind of deep, so, yeah. I don't know. What, what happened to the ball? Yeah, I'm not. So I get to try and steal the ball. Yeah. Be a sneaky bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm doing this very well. This looks like shit. This is my life now. Battle scars. Great. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Woo. All right. <sighs> Notice yourself. Maybe I should. Maybe I should uh, revoke my Gold's gym membership. Seems. <laughs> like this seems like not the best idea to continue. As uh, I've played three times and gotten hurt three times, so this shit is kind of ridiculous. I'm not upset. Here I am, but I should probably figure something out here. Maybe I uh, maybe I just start playing one-on-one -on -one games instead. <sighs> How I wish. How I wish I'd had a cameraman today. So, what? I don't know. I told you I was gritty. I told you I was gritty. And, uh, I wasn't lying. Stitches. That might be, that might be the next thing, so. Next, next play, let's go. I actually just remembered that I don't have any food at home and I need to pick up some new food.
just need chicken and rice and maybe hot sauce. I got what I needed and then I thought I might need gauze. That looks like my aisle. Here we go. Should I just get tampons? That might be a good solution. That's a super cheap joke. Probably gonna cut that. No, 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 no. Thinking about this, judging by the amount of times I get fucked up. I'm actually pretty sure I have a bunch of band-aid stuff at home, so I just put that back. I'm going to see what I have, see what I can do, and then come back. I'm waiting for the random stranger to ask me what happened. I'm going to tell them MMA for sure. Okay, I washed my hands. Let's reveal the crazy hair and take this. First time it's felt oxygen in the last like two hours. So. Yeah, that's probably not good. Judging by the looks of that, I should probably go to the hospital. Whew, okay. So I have no idea if they're gonna let me film in here. Um, so wish me luck. Hello. What's going on, man? No, I'm just looking. Oh, okay. Hey, you called earlier. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. What happened? Ah, uh, just an elbow to the face. Okay. Yeah. Intentional? Unintentional? Ah, uh, we don't know. Oh, okay. To be determined. Okay. I will get you back. Thank you. No, I don't think so. Who put this on? I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, I was at Gold's and they, uh, this is what they gave me. This is some weird ass tape. You were at Gold's gym? Yeah. Were you working out when this happened? I was playing a ba- oh, that right, you don't have the full story. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was playing a basketball game and I went for a steal and I, uh, got a, caught with an elbow and then I touched it and noticed I was bleeding. Don't touch yeah. <laughs> Don't touch yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, then I took off my shirt, wrapped it around my head, and kept playing the game. And then I stopped and left. It doesn't look that same. That's good. We'll get it stitched. Awesome. Stitched or so it's used? Probably. Okay. We don't know. Um, stitched or used with the whatever that derma glue <laughs> stuff. Derma glue stuff. But it's in your eyes. So you have to be careful. Gotcha. Oh, the joys of being 26 years old, having no health insurance, being self-employed, and getting any kind of injury at all. Yeah, I honestly don't think it's really that bad. Any other injuries? Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. Okay, can you follow this with your eyes? Yeah. Uh, to the face. Uh, definitely... Not good, this is like the fighter's cut. Yeah, that's what I felt like too. If anybody asked me what it was, I was gonna say MMA. Yeah, yeah right, uh -huh. exactly. Much better way to go with I know. See the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> no problems here, right? Yeah. Okay, easy enough. Uh, tetanus within the last five years? So now, okay, let's update your tetanus, make sure it's all set. Where do you want, right shoulder? Bring it to your center. There you go. One last look. Where do you know it? If you don't get it, it's going to sting just a bit. But that is the worst part. Now oh, that we've okay. numbed you, the rest of this is like easy sailing. I feel like it's getting in my eyeball. I'm not 100% sure. No, it's just it sure the does feel. feel like it's dripping in my eye. Open up your eyes. It's yeah. your. Uh, Am I crying? <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just, uh, it's, it's tingling, and then okay. it's a weird feeling. You're okay. gonna be like, uh, that whole area is numb. All right. So, heavy lifting over. Great. Now into the the bonus round here. The easy part. That's a sterile drink and the perfunctory. Can you breathe? 
Okay. Yep. If you become claustrophobic, you let me know. This is the suture. Okay. Keep feeling that. You feel it? I feel it, but it's not horrible. Okay. You can kind no, of. Just... Yeah, that I I just felt like it was close to my eyeball. All right, one stitch in. Okay, if that becomes too uncomfortable for you. Should be okay. Well, I'm, but, yeah, I don't feel it fit at all. I just feel close to my eyeball. It's, it's, that it's tr not. truly it's not. It's almost like you know when people get their eyebrows pierced and stuff like that. Mm, right. This is in the same general location, but I'm definitely not near the globe of your eye. Last one coming. You got two in. Pretty disconcerting feeling with me monkeying around near your eye. I'm sure. shift I always have at least one laceration I went through 18 hours with no <laughs> lacerations and then you came in here to make sure that my streak remained intact Stuff. I'm gonna put you okay. up. Okay. Okay. There we go. And I'm gonna drop your bed down so you don't go flying. Thank you. All right, that was actually a pleasant experience somehow. Just got stitches and then had to walk up two giant ass hills because there's no parking at my apartment complex. I'm not sure if that sign was there before I came in the last time or if I finally did a thing that made a sign get put up. <laughs> Second group of doctors. <sighs> They're okay. Yeah. And, and, and play hard, but play smart too, you know. Right. You know, if, if they're being real rough or, you know, uh, playing dirty or something like that, then you don't need to play with that group. You yeah. No, it was totally my fault, honestly. I deserved, I deserved, I wasn't mad at the elbow at all. I was yeah, appreciative yeah. of the elbow. I went for the steal and yeah. I got smacked in the face. So yeah. it's all part of the game and it's all yeah, good. You betcha. You betcha. And yeah. That's what I'm telling you. I don't want you to send home. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm scared to play now. No. Right. Yeah, I'm not scared to play. I just, uh, I, I did think to myself, well, maybe I change the way. I play. Maybe I only play with certain people, and maybe I only play one-on-one -on -one games or like smaller things, or I don't know. Yeah. Maybe just yeah. don't be sneaky and yeah. <laughs> try to steal the ball as much. No, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. That's exactly, yeah, that's, I recorded this entire experience and that's one of the yeah. things I said for sure. I was yeah. just like, all right, well, next play, what am I doing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Good, know, good so old IVF. Yeah, you got a little war scar. Yeah, that's exactly how I felt about it. I thought you would be a completely different point of view on this, so that's actually yeah. hilarious that we have the exact same, like, yeah. point of view. I was yeah. like, oh, cool, battle scar. Yeah. 
Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Yeah. You, you, you'd be hearing the other side of me. Mm. But, but you're a grown man. You're a, you're, well, let me say you're a young man. You're a yeah. man. So, man, you know, at this point now, you do things. I mean, you got to be smart about it, obviously. you got to make good decisions, good yeah. choices. Right. But, but, you know, I mean, if that's the decision that you made yesterday, and that's what the outcome was, it, oh, well. You know, you just get it handled and move on. Yep. You know, you're not a child anymore. That's true. You know, so, you know, that's it. I did. So, I did. pretty good that you did what you did, though. Yeah. And, and that's awesome, you know. Now, the other part of me did feel like I felt 25 years ago or so. Yeah. Years with, ago, with, or with the nose. Four years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I felt that I was, I, I was too far away. I couldn't catch you. Yeah. And so, this morning when I saw that, I, I, I felt bad because I felt like, doggone it, I should have been there. I mean, you, know, you wouldn't I, be able to do anything about it either. That yeah. I, that's impossible. I couldn't have been there. Yeah. But I'm feeling like, as a father, I should have been there for you, and I should have prevented that. But, you know, I can't do that. No, nobody so could. I have to let you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I have to, I have to just stand back and, and watch you do what you do now. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I can't I can't catch you, you know, but I can certainly give you, you know, warning warnings and, and, and advice, you yeah. know, and, and all of that. You know what I'm saying? And right. then you, you you take that and you run with it. Yeah. You know, so no, you did the exact right thing. That's so awesome. So I'm proud of you. Good deal. I appreciate it. But yeah, but I'm just glad you're okay and that's all good. So yep. and I haven't gotten to talk to you uh, and I kind of, I guess I didn't talk to you kind of on purpose, uh, after that took place, uh, you know, because you know how I am, but the Kobe thing. Oh yeah. I, I saw what you posted and I was like, man, my son's taking it hard. You know, I was like, man, you know, and once again, I couldn't be there to, to comfort you, you know, uh, yeah. and then, you know, over the phone, it just doesn't feel right. Yeah. You know, hundred percent. But yeah, but you know, once again, things that happen, you know what I'm saying? That's called life, and we never know. Yeah. You know, we never know. And it was very, very tragic, very, very sad that it happened. And, you know, but life goes on. You know, uh, he leaves behind a legacy. And, uh, you know, and it's sad. I'm, I'm saddened over it, you know? Yeah. And so I'm saddened for a couple of reasons. Number one, because he's a human being. Uh, and number two, for, for you. Yeah. Because you know, I know how it made you feel. So, but at any rate, uh, all right. Well, I've got these gentlemen back in my classroom. So okay. I've got to get one. And, uh, but I will talk to you later. Okay. Love you. All right, buddy. I love you too. And take care. Bye bye. Thanks. Good old pops. Good old pops. <laughs>